One of the things that I've tried to do um, since leaving Dream Team here at Butler is to emphasize mental health awareness. We get to brainstorm and talk about strategies and, and things that we can do when we aren't feeling our healthiest. Some coping skills that I use is a lot of times I do calligraphy, especially during the school day. Um, it helps me like focus more in my academics. Uh, escapism through books is always number one for me. Hanging out with my friends is my way of just feeling better at any situation. I would paint a lot. I would do like artwork. Like right now, I'm like really comfortable right now because we're outside. So I love doing things outside. I do sports. I like to play tennis. So mental health is absolutely 100% connected to your physical health. Just like our physical health, um, this is one thing that I learned through one of our cafes. We have a mental health. And if you don't exercise, <laughs> you know, when you do encounter a problem, whether it's failing a test or not getting accepted into the college of your choice, then how are you going to rebound from that? I like playing basketball. I play lacrosse. I feel like it's a good escape. I like taking my dog on a walk and sometimes even like going on a run to clear my head. The goal is to just stay out of your own mind and as out, as, out of your thoughts for as long as possible until you feel like you can take that for what it is and understand the problem without, once again, like being swayed by that. I think that's probably one of the best coping mechanisms I have. Uh, when I'm stressed or worried, I like to go out and take a walk or I'll uh, you know, go to my parents, I'll talk to them about whatever's bothering me. I like to eat food, so yeah, when my mom cooks, that's definitely a good way to cope. So yeah, those would be my, like my favorite food is like enchiladas and then when she makes that, you know, it's like, I remember I played like a tennis match and it was like a really exhausting one and I got home and she had enchiladas already there for me so I was like that's one of the best feelings. We're all growing and learning and when you're trying to learn about mental health and yourself <laughs> it's you know it's a learning it's a it's a learning process so uh, trust in your process and know the results are going to come so set an example. So I, I really appreciate our school for allowing us to host events and uh, community cafes uh, to bring in specialists, MHA, uh, to assist us in understanding our mental state. And one thing that I can tell you is when I was in high school and middle school too, we did not talk about feelings. And in my family, we didn't talk about feelings either. So um, I think through my students, through the dream team, I'm actually learning how to cope.